Hello everybody, future me here. Before the video starts, I just want to say that my microphone pops a lot. It sounds something like this. It, it, it doesn't sound good. And also I do this a, uh, a few times, one or once or twice, maybe even three times at the beginning of the video. So if you want to skip it, then uh, you can skip it. But you don't have to. You, you could just watch the entire video. You know. I've also changed my intro, which you'll see in just a second. Hello, welcome back to another video on the channel. This is a slightly different video. Roll the intro. So you probably saw the title and you, you that I mean that's why you clicked on the video or you came from the video which I'll be posting in four weeks from as of the time of this recording so if you came from that video epic so let's just jump into it so first what you want to do is you want to set a key guide so I mean it can really be anything it doesn't matter I guess different keys have like different feels like creepy and stuff, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna go, oh, I'll just go D. I, I don't know, just something random. It doesn't really matter. You could look into it if you want to, but it just doesn't matter. You can, you can select your instrument. It depends on what you want to make it sound like. I'm just gonna do the default, which is piano. And also the BPM, the D, the... It's 110 on default. You can change it, of course. You can change it to, like, 400 if you really wanted to. But it can be anything. So, uh, first you want to make sure you're selected, you've selected the draw tool, which is up here. You can see me... I mean, you can't see my mouse hover over it, but you can see how it's, like, the draw menu is going in and out. So, this allows you to add, add stuff, <laughs> as you can see. Um, you can scroll, you scroll up and down with the, your mouse, or you can drag this but it allows you to change the range of what you can do uh, so let's just go ahead and let's just start uh, you can also separate the grid differently which you probably won't need right now it's on 16th notes which you probably don't need anything other than that but if you wanted to you could keep going and keep going if you really wanted to so yeah, that, that's that. Uh, next we got... Uh, start! <laughs> so what you're gonna do is you're, you're basically just gonna try coming up with something... That's good-ish. And then you can build off of that. So, I'll, I'll see you then. Okay, so this is what I got. Uh, let's listen to it. So that's the melody. You're gonna want to repeat this. But, we're not quite done with that part yet. So, right now it's just the melody. It's nothing else. There needs to be counter melody. And other stuff. So, let, let, let's do counter melody. It's pretty simple. What it is, it's, um... It's basically... Like, a mirrored version of this. It doesn't have to be. It can just... It just has to kind of, like... Be the opposite of this, sort of. Uh, you, you'll see what I mean. Um, I also did change the tempo, because it didn't sound right it doesn't really matter whatever sounds best so uh i'll cut to the counter melody and i'll tell you what i mean by like opposite and stuff uh in half a second because i'm gonna cut the video okay i'm back so this is it uh the bottom section here you're gonna want to make it usually i make the counter melody lower than the melody but you can make it higher if you want to but then it's gonna stand out more so yeah you, you want the melody to stand out the most so this is this, and if you, let's, let's take a listen. So yeah, you can see how it's like similar, but also like opposite with some like added extra. So that's, that's kind of what it is. It has to like kind of relate to the melody. Cause that makes sense. Okay. Now is the bass line. It's pretty self-explanatory. It, yeah, it's it's pretty self-explanatory. 
So, I'm done. And some of it... Okay, so base is pretty much supposed to be completely separate from everything else. And you want, like, descendings and ascendings. Just, like, notes that go downwards, notes that, notes that go upwards, stuff like that. But you also kind of want to sneak in, like, a counter-counter melody, too. Which you'll see right over here. So, let's listen to it. So you can hear it kind of like fades into the counter melody, so that's that, and now you're going to want chords. Fun. Uh, chords are basically just a lot of notes that are stuck together and supposed to sound good, so yeah. That doesn't sound good, but you'll see in a second, and by that I mean like half a second. Okay, so you can clearly see it, and you can see it's a different color. That means I changed the instrument. It's pretty simple. Oh, oops. It's pretty simple. You just click a different instrument, and then it loads it up. I did triangle, which is an instrument that can sustain notes. That's what you want for chords, because piano can't really do that. Um, I Also, if you want to erase something, just uh, right-click. Yeah, right-click. Just like that. You, you right click. Now, now I have to set this back to piano. Of course, of course. Okay. You can also use the erase tool, which you probably already found if you've gotten here. So, yay, me being useless again. So, after this, uh, you're kind of done with the first part. The first part. So don't 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 mind if like any of it is too loud. Don't try changing the instruments or anything, because once you bring this over to flat, it will you, you can change all the dynamics and stuff. So you, just don't worry about dynamics for now. It all you can, it can all be changed in flat. So now we uh, make the next part. I'm gonna put four parts in this. You can have as many, but generally what you want to do is you want to copy this at least once or twice because it is the melody. Um, you can change up the chords a bit. You don't have to copy it like completely. You definitely want to copy the melody and the and maybe even the counter melody. Uh, but you want to change up the, the chords. You can probably keep the bass the same, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. So what we're gonna do now for the second part is you're gonna basically copy this and then slightly change it up. So you just select it all with the selector tool, Control C and Control V. It's actually that easy. Oh, wait, I didn't do control V. No, I did. I just... Wait, what? Oh, yeah, that, you have to have pencil. You have to have pencil tool on you. Or maybe not. <laughs> One second. Why can I not... Technical difficulties. We'll be back in a second. Uh, it, it works now. <laughs> I have no idea what happened, guys, but, uh, just try it a few times if it doesn't work. Apparently it'll work eventually. Okay, well, this is boring when you just copy it straight up. So, you're not going to. One thing you can do is you can just, like, drag it down. But make sure everything is still in the key, the key guide. The, everything that's in the key guide are in the lighter colored stuff. Now, D is pretty easy with key guides, so... Let's see how it sounds now. I just lowered this slightly. So it doesn't sound the best. Um, of course, you can't... This isn't, like, a great method. It's, it's okay, but it's not so great. So let's try this now. So again, it, it's not, it's not great. Uh, control Z to undo, Control Y to redo. Okay, that that you probably don't want to use unless you're using, you're doing something that's like supposed to do that. I don't know. It, you don't use that for many occasions, but you can always see if it works. So, yeah. So this is gonna be melody. This is gonna be like kind of melody. You don't want it to be the exact same, nor do you really want to drag it down like I just did. So. 
What we're going to do is we're going to change up... We'll keep the melody. And then we'll change everything else up, so... Be right back. Alright, so I'm finished, and you can see it's... It doesn't look similar, but it's pretty similar if you listen to it. And the reason why is because the melody is still... Okay. <laughs> the reason why is because the melody is still there, and it's going to sound similar, and that's kind of what you want. So, there are a few different ways you can, you can, like... There are a few different strategies to making, you know, music. The first one is to do melody, and then kind of melody, and then completely different, and then melody again. The next one is melody, not melody, melody, kind of melody. You can mix it up a bit, but the point is you want to repeat it, what I do is I just repeat the melody, sort of, after, like, twice. So I, I, I do the melody, and then I kind of do the melody after that. And then I do a completely separate section, and then melody again. So let's do it. Okay, so you can see how I'm leading into the next measure every time. You don't have to, but... I do, most of the time anyways, especially when you're about to go to a new section. So this is melody, this is kind of melody, and then after that you want sort of melody. Okay, no, not melody at all, it's completely different. Sometimes you can make like the bass take over, that's what I do sometimes, or you can just complete, make it completely separate. But I'm going to make the bass take over because it sounds pretty epic. Okay, so you can see here it, it's it's a lot different than the other ones. The other ones were somewhat similar. You can see it's it's a uh, pretty changes. You can see that the actually the chords take over, which yeah, and also the bass also takes over. There there isn't much of an in between, but the in between does get like more and more like visible, I guess, which makes no sense. You'll you'll see. Okay, so I'm just gonna, using the play from here tool. I'm going to play right at that part, so. Alright. Um, and also, when it gets to the end, it does repeat, so. Uh, if you hear, like, a repeating, that's not part of it. That's just it repeating. <laughs> Anyways, after you do that part, after you do the weird section, you're going to want to just slap the melody right back on there, so. Uh, for the most part, yeah, you're gonna copy it. Yeah, it's... You're literally just gonna go like this. Control-C, Control-V, and then drag it. Okay. I have no idea what just happened. It just disappeared for me. It's a weird visual glitch. Uh, this thing is a bit glitchy. Uh, flat's a lot less glitchy, so once you're done with this, it's gonna be a lot, lot smoother, okay? So, you're pretty much done. Uh, I guess I'll make a few tweaks if I really have to. Let's see. Um, I guess if I'm making this song really short, I guess this is also the ending. So, this isn't, this isn't the last... Usually this isn't the last section if you're making like a slightly longer song. But this is the ending, so I guess I'll just add a little ending. It'll be really quick. Okay, you can see the ending I put in, it's pretty simple, I just, right here, right along here, I just made three of the same notes play all at once, with a lot of energy. That's all that is. Uh, ignore this note, this note is only here because, uh, again, this is really glitchy, and when it gets to the end, it brings it to the beginning. But the thing is, for some reason, it's bringing me to the beginning, even though the music was still right here. So, ignore this, this is just so it doesn't repeat um, let's listen to the entire thing. Once the note ends. Okay, cool. So, if, if it sounds a little wonky, or, you know, of course the dynamics are going to be off, and so are the instruments. There aren't many instruments, and a lot of them are inaccurate. But, once you bring it over to flat, it'll all be great. Which is going to be the next part of this series, if you came from the fourth video. If you didn't, you don't know what I'm talking about, 
and you don't have to and you shouldn't until the video is released okay so that's that's online sequencer a few extra things that you probably don't need to know about copy and cut you can just do control c control v but if control v doesn't work then you can just do paste right here and then also select all which is control a uh this is control plus or control minus control plus or shortcuts for this you can also just press it apparently once you're done with this you're gonna want to so this is once you're completely done usually songs aren't this short but you know i cut it short because i need to because it's just a tutorial I called it demo make sure you title it <laughs> don't title it untitled that's that's a not good that's a me you're, you're pulling a me move this is like the only time i've ever named anything before okay so once you do that you're gonna want to make sure everything is you know okay and stuff you can always come back and change it but you're gonna you want to <laughs> You're gonna want to press save to local file and it's gonna save demo.txt in your documents file, I believe And that's pretty much it. You can just Whenever you need to you can just drag this on top of the online sequence website and it'll tell you This will replace the current sequence. Are you sure? You press OK and it'll load it up. It didn't do anything because I already had it loaded up, but you got the point uh, You can also save it so if you made like some small modifications, you can save it to this file without having to download another file. Uh, export MIDI, this will be used. I mean, this won't really be used. Wait, what am I even saying? Of course that'll be used. You need it, you need it in order to transfer it to flat, but that'll be in the flat video. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. This isn't the kind of video I really wanted to post because it gets views and no subscribers, which is the complete opposite of what, you know, it's the complete opposite. So, um, but hopefully it helped. The fourth video, anyways, this one's not going to help that much because this is an overall glitchy thing. You can't really do anything purely from this, although my intro music is made purely out of online sequencer. But yeah. That's pretty much it for this segment of the fourth video. I'm still not going to say the title in case you guys watching are from uh, the past before I posted the fourth video. Because, uh, spoilers. Thanks for watching, everybody. Subscribe, because... Subscribe? And, uh, subscribe for free oxygen. Yeah. Also like the video so people know that this is like actually legit and isn't isn't just like random doo doo stuff. <laughs>